Welcome, Lockwood and Company, episode three. Here we go. All right, uh, welcome. For those of you just finding us real quick, we're a vlog channel that chronicles our Halloween haunt, our prop development throughout the year, along with the spooky things that inspire us and give us ideas about uh, new ways to, uh, to do our haunt. Please check out our vlog channel, um, our intro, some of our videos, uh, to see who we are and get an idea of what we're doing. Uh, so along those lines, I saw the new show on Netflix, uh, Lockwood and & Company, and I thought it might be fun to review each episode as we watch it, and specifically gear our review towards uh, how we might draw inspiration uh, for our Halloween haunt and the props that we're making for next Halloween. Okay, so let's go right into this episode. This is the third episode, um, and we start off with uh, Lockwood & Company. Uh, they're still looking to get out of the debt that they, they've incurred. Um, in the last uh, couple episodes, um, so they answer a mysterious ad, um, which brings them to the top floor of a London tower, where they meet John Fairfax, uh, head of a large iron company, which I'm guessing he made his fortune since iron is so important uh, for warding off ghosts and all that. So um, he tells them that he needs them to discreetly clean um, a house or property that he owns uh, so he can sell it. Um, and he's willing to give them the 60000 that they owe uh, if they can get this done. Um, Upon going home and doing some research, they find that the building might be more than they bargained for. Um, has a long history of ghosts and issues, um, and teams that have gone in, in there have been killed, um, except for one survivor. Um, we don't know who that is, but that sounds like that's going to uh, come up later. Um, most critical, uh, it was the home of a satanic cult of monks. Um, so... So they really don't know, um, you know, how they're going to go about um, handling this and if they're really, if they've gotten in over their heads. Um, Agent Barnes calls Lucy and pressures her to tell Lockwood that, um, that she's quitting. Um, so it seems like he's trying to break them up uh, from both sides, both from getting uh, Lucy to quit and, and trying to get Lockwood um, pressure to, um, to fire her. So we don't know really why they're so interested in, in um, stopping them. Um, so the trio then uh, takes a, a train to the location of this mansion um, where they're met with Fairfax's assistant uh, who drives them to the mansion, begin their work, and they sense uh, lots of ghosts and, and trauma going on in the mansion. Um, they find themselves in what they call the Red Room where they encounter uh, multiple ghosts that seem to be working together. Um, and it seems like apparently from what they say that that's unusual and that usually doesn't happen. Um, no, we don't see them. We see like blood dripping down from the walls and the ceiling and the door slams shut to lock them in. Um, Lucy finds a secret door and they burst through just as uh, they're becoming surrounded by all these, uh, these effects. Um, and they, they think that um, there might be more than ghosts here, that the living might actually be helping the ghosts and, and, and trying, to, you know, trying to do something to them. Um, they wind up going down an old staircase uh, and down into the original stone building uh, where the satanic monks, I guess, had their, uh, their chapel or whatever. We hear some ominous chanting and then there's a large stone well in the center of the room um, and Lucy kind of goes into like a trance-like state and she almost steps off the end of the well um, but she gets pulled back just in time. Uh, and then we see uh, the dark forces, uh, forms of the, of the monks uh, surrounding them and starting to crowd in on them and the chanting growing louder. Um, but Lucy now knows that the bodies of the monks are in the bottom of this well. So Lockwood uses one of his uh, phosphorescent uh, grenade things and tosses it in there and boom, and uh, there's an explosion, I guess, and the, the monks are uh, vanquished. Um, and the heroes uh, struggle to and, and wake up and uh, eventually get out of the, um, out of the, uh, cellar part um they realize that um fairfax um they have like an old picture which i guess i didn't got i guess they got in their investigation or whatever i'm not sure um that shows fairfax uh with annabelle um and they realize that um there's a connection between them and that it was actually fairfax that um, that murdered her and then they um then when they escape and get back to the main floor uh they're met by fairfax and his assistant um, Fairfax is wearing some kind of weird goggle thing on his, his, his eyes, um, which I'm guessing, I don't know if it allows him to see the ghosts or something, but, uh, he admits to everything and he's going to wind up killing them. Um, but then Lucy pulls out the ring and the ghost of Annabelle appears and 
she kills Fairfax. Um, the assistant runs out, but then the agents show up, and I don't know exactly how they knew to come at that point. That's not really explained, but anyway, they're there. So um, first they're going to arrest Lockwood and company, um, but then the deputy commissioner, I guess of this agency, shows up, um, and we see a bunch of boxes being taken out of the house. Um, so it looks like there's some kind of cover-up going on, and they're trying to... Um, they're trying to hide whatever happened here or whatever's going on. Um, and then the trio is then presented with um, non-disclosure agreements that basically they're forced to sign uh, to get their freedom back. So they wind up doing that. Um, so we don't know exactly what's going on here or what, what's, um, what this is all about, but I imagine it's probably setting up uh, plot lines for the next uh, coming episodes. Um, now we see a scene uh, sometime later in a cemetery. Uh, it looks like um, having a funeral being performed for one of the ghost hunters. Um, the, uh, the ghost of, that they actually saw in the mansion when they were there. Um, a woman introduces herself and it turns out her name is, is Penelope Fitz, uh, who runs one of the biggest uh, ghost fighting agencies in London. Um, and then we learned that it was actually her mother was the one that was uh, the only survivor of that first mission to that house, or the mansion. Um, so again, I think that's going to be significant um, as to what all was going on there and with the boxes and everything. Um, so that's probably going to come up in later episodes and probably going to be an ongoing uh, story point here. Um, so then we uh, cut back to the Lockwood house. Um, where the trio is um, learning that um, the company's debt has been paid, um, but everything apparently is being covered up and glossed over, and the papers are saying that Fairfax died of natural causes. Um, we also see that George uh, winds up having taken those weird goggles, and he's trying to figure out what they are. And we also see that there's some kind of insignia on them. It looks kind of like a harp or something. Um, that they also mentioned was on the boxes as well. So again, it looks like they're setting up something happened here. There must have been something going on, um, maybe some kind of research being done or some kind of uh, ghost fighting equipment that was being uh, being created there or something, something that I'm sure it's going to come up in, in the future episodes. And finally, we see uh, Lockwood was able to get Lucy's certification um, and actually was able to sign it himself, and I guess nobody questions it, so um, she can officially do the work for the company, so I guess we're setting up now that they're going to be established, and, you know, they're out of their, um, out of the troubles that they were in to start with here in the first three episodes. Um, so then in the final scene, Lucy's in the basement, um, she's putting those goggles in storage down there, and she accidentally turns a handle on this jar that actually George um, took from uh, his first job when he actually worked for this Fitz agency. Um, it's a jar, kind of looks like a containment thing with a, with this kind of like haunted skull in it or something. And um, the goggle hand, the hot goggles um, get stuck on the handle and, and pull it accidentally and she doesn't notice. Um, and then you see kind of a hissing or something, you know, as something's like getting out of this, this jar, apparently maybe this, this spirit or something is escaping. Um, and you hear this ghostly voice call Lucy's name she looks kind of terrified, and then we, we see her collapse on the floor, and that's the end of the episode. So, um, so that was it. It was pretty exciting. Uh, kind of wrapped up, um, well, you know, the the events of the first three episodes. Um, actually, one of my commenters uh, told me that um, these first three episodes are actually the first book in the series. So I guess that's why it's kind of self-contained. Um, so that's kind of interesting. I, I would have thought maybe like the whole. Uh, first season probably would have been the first book, say, or something like that, but um, I guess they, it's more self-contained than that, so I guess the first book is basically done, and we're going on now to another kind of part of the story um, that we'll see going forward in the next uh, few episodes. I don't know, there's, I think, eight episodes total, so so we've got, like, five more episodes to go. Um, yeah, so it's, uh, it's pretty exciting so far. Like I said, it's it's nice the way they wrap that up, and kind of left open these new um, these new threads of the story that are going to go forward and we're going to see again more uh, probably more expanding of these um, of the backstory and the lore of the of this um, you know world 
uh, going forward. So that's pretty exciting. Um, again, from the Halloween point of view, um, we had some cool looking ghosts again in here. Uh, the mansion itself looked pretty cool. A lot of uh, nice uh, effects there with um, you know, old and weathered looking uh, uh, paintings and different things around the, around the mansion. Looks pretty cool. Um, those goggles look pretty cool. I don't know if we can make something like that to have for out for Halloween. Again, if we could put some of these uh, things out there and probably, you know, the show being popular would probably uh, draw some interest. So that would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that's it for episode three. Uh, we're looking forward now to episode four and we'll see where the story goes from here. Okay, thanks for watching.